Revenge Films. My name is David. After I graduated high school, I've been working as a construction worker under my grandfather. On my father's side, there were generations of policemen. I was the youngest of three siblings, and both my older brother and older sister went to college. And after graduating, went down the path of becoming a police officer. However, I always loved my grandparents on my mom's side, and so I decided to become a construction worker under my grandfather. My parents were against it, but I didn't go to college after high school, and I decided to get straight to work. When I was 22 and just getting used to my work in the construction industry, I began dating Nicole, whom I was introduced to through a mutual friend. She had a really outgoing personality, so it didn't take long for us to get along well. She was also very beautiful and very much my type. And in the beginning, I was so happy that I could date her that I wanted to brag to everyone. However, about one year after we started dating, things started to change. She started pressuring me about marriage. I'd started working immediately after I graduated high school, but on the flip side, she went to college and had never had a job before. Her reason for that was, she still had more that she wanted to learn, and she said that she's been studying at home in order to get a certification. However, in reality, she grew up quite wealthy, and her dream was to get married and become a full-time housewife. After she graduated college, she was more set on finding a partner to marry, and that's why she didn't get a job and was living off of her parents' money. When I found that out, even though I really liked my beautiful and outgoing girlfriend, I had a hard time getting over the fact that she didn't know the real world and didn't know what it was like to struggle. But regardless of those concerns, she kept pushing for a marriage. It's been one year already since we started dating, right? Do you think we can start thinking about marriage now? I said this last time too, but I think we don't need to rush into it. We're still only 23. That's not true. If we don't get married soon, I won't be able to have a lot of kids, you know? It's way too soon to talk about kids. Let's take our time to really think about this. I can't wait for that. You've been working since you were 18, so you have savings, right, David? The sooner we get married, the sooner you can be a young dad. Anyway, it's too soon to talk about marriage. There was a part of me that was doubting her intentions, so I was unable to think about marriage with her. Every time she talked about marriage, I would try to brush it off. When one day, she did something unbelievable. On one of our dates, she invited her father without telling me. That day, I was off work from the morning, so I had plans to spend the whole day with her. She told me to meet her at the restaurant in front of the train station. And as I was waiting outside, she showed up with her father by her side. I was so shocked I was at a loss for words. But then, she introduced me to her father as her fiancé. Hearing that, I was even more flustered. But she took me and escorted me into the restaurant. When we sat down, a full course meal was brought out plate by plate. But I couldn't taste anything. The dad watched me as I sat in silence awkwardly. And he finally must have reached his limit and opened his mouth. By the way, what university did you graduate from? Uh, I didn't go to college. I graduated high school and have been working in construction ever since. D didn't go to college? Construction? Yes. Is there a problem? Nicole, you knew that and you still chose this guy? That's right, because David has a lot of savings and he's very hardworking. There's no way someone who didn't go to college is hardworking! I won't approve of this marriage! And what do you mean construction? Her father was livid as he got up from the table and left the plates and the restaurant. I confronted her about tricking me into meeting her dad and claiming I was her fiancé, but she didn't seem to have any ounce of regret. Well, sooner or later, I knew the day would come that you have to meet him, so I thought the sooner the better. Nobody said that we were getting married! So you're dating me without any plan to marry me? Are you just playing with me? That's not what I'm saying! But I can't date someone like this who refuses to listen and especially can't marry them! If we're not getting married, then there's no point in dating. If that's what you think, then let's break up! After this incident, I don't think I could marry you anyway! When I told her directly that I have no intention of marrying her, she began to go into a frenzy. I was played! Or, I can't believe you made me think that! 
and she said all kinds of things, but I refused to budge on breaking up with her. After that, she quickly got back on her quest to find a husband, and I stopped getting any contact from her whatsoever. After I broke up with her, I started to think that girls were a pain, and I wanted to distance myself from relationships for a while. At the same time, work started to get really busy, and before I knew it, one month had flown by. One day, when I was enjoying my first day off in a while, I got a message from my big sister. Hello? Hey, I haven't heard from you in so long. I was worried. Are you okay? Sorry, sorry. Work has been super busy. Oh, really? How's Grandpa? Is he well? Of course. He's healthy as ever. Well, that's good. Anyway, I'm about to go shopping, but will you come with me? I've also been so busy that I haven't had time to get any groceries, and I want to buy everything at once today, so I need your help. Sure, I can come. I agreed to go grocery shopping with my sister. But in the end, I was forced to carry way more bags than I expected. And I was exhausted on my one day off. She dragged me around all over the place. And when we finally finished shopping, I started putting the bags away into her car. When at that moment, the incident occurred. What? You bought a car? It's an expensive one too. I see my bonus and I finally got it. I had my eye on it for a while. Isn't it cool? Wow, it's super cool. I know, right? My sister and I were focused on getting all of the groceries into the trunk. When we heard a terrible noise coming from the left side of the car, we jumped and looked towards the sound, and a concrete brick had been thrown at the car. And standing there was my ex-girlfriend's father. Take that! I'm never going to approve of you marrying my daughter! After spitting out those words, he tried to get away, but I coldly yelled after him, and he turned around. We broke up a long time ago. What? Wait, really? <laughs> well then good, that's good. Now you better not think about getting back together with her. Don't come near my daughter ever again, do you understand? He looked relieved as he turned around and tried to leave, but my older sister ran after him and pinned him down. <laughs> Who is this woman with this stupid strength? Stop it! Let me go! Is this your new girlfriend? No, that's my older sister. By the way, she's a cop. COP?! My sister immediately called for backup, and she had my ex-girlfriend's dad arrested for property damage. After having her precious car damaged, my sister was really upset, and she asked her colleagues to do a very thorough investigation of him. Be honest, why did you suddenly throw a concrete brick at the car that was parked? Please, please don't arrest me! I just didn't want to give my daughter away to a guy that didn't even go to college! And that's the reason why you damaged somebody's car? Look, I'm apologizing! If I get arrested, I'll get fired from my job, and it's going to cause trouble to my whole family, you know? What are you saying? You did this to yourself! Please, please, just let me go! You really think that's going to fly? Her dad was arrested, and even though he was just at the brink of retirement, he was fired from his company, and he had to pay the repair expenses, as well as a settlement fee to my sister. Apparently he was quite the extravagant spender, and he was planning on spending his senior years with his retirement package. But because he was fired, he didn't get the retirement funds, and in the end, he had to sell his house. He was also disowned by his wife and his daughter, and they quickly got a divorce. Becoming single, and with a criminal record at that age, there's no doubt that he would be spending the rest of his life very lonely. After breaking up with my girlfriend, I devoted my all into my work, and my grandfather approved of me as a proud construction worker. According to rumors, my ex is spending her days going to singles parties and events, but because she's in such a rush to get married, she continues to get rejected. So she gave up and finally started looking for a job. However, she couldn't land a job with no experience. And after losing her father, who is the financial pillar of the family, I heard that she's currently working part-time to make ends meet. I never want to be swung around by someone like her again. So I want to be sure that I don't make the same mistake, and that I'm careful about who I date seriously in the future. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more!